guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first video of the new year. It is a um, little Cezanne haul. It's not so many pieces. It's just like I was on the website. I was actually looking for some specific items uh, that I know that I always find on the Cezanne Shop, web shop and then while I was there I saw some other pieces that I really loved so I've ordered them and here we are we have the first video of the new year is a Cezanne try on haul I think that in this period it is still very cold it's like very cold like proper winter but because it's like the end of January we are in a way already thinking of spring so I'm keeping my eyes on pieces that I can transition with me towards spring so even if there is some knits it is knits that maybe I can also wear with like skirts without um, tights or like bare legs later it's gonna be much later in Amsterdam I think it normally until like April is still very cold so um, we like spring but we don't get it so soon <laughs> uh, so it's all things that I'm gonna still be wearing a lot let's get started item number one it is this shirt um, I really like in general like Cezanne blouses I think they're like very fem feminine very French so I tend to quite often order blouses from them what I loved about this one is that it's like a shirt, so it's a bottom down and uh, there is a very very pretty color, very nice details, uh, the sleeves and it's like around the color and then down here. It is obviously long sleeve because I intend to not wear for spring to wear this one but to wear it already like with a blazer or with like a cardigan like as a layering piece for now and then in spring it can be like you know a normal shirt um, in terms of sizing like okay so in Cezanne I am a size 38 in general and sizes tend to be quite small so in general in Cezanne I'm a 38 I went for my regular size and I have to say that on the body it is okay but the sleeves are a little bit short so I wish I sized up in this one even if I didn't but on the website it says that if you are in between two sizes to size down and I disagree like if you are in between two sizes I think you should size up in terms of fabric composition is really good it is 100% organic cotton so quite nice on the skin it is 95 euros and I checked like I always do before buying anything um, it is machine washable 30 degrees um, when it comes to white shark if especially in the color they get stained with like foundation especially in winter like makeup in general then I do use a stain spray before I put them in the washing machine and then you can wash them at 30 degrees otherwise 30 degrees in general tends like to not really remove stains well with the help of the spray it works really well and while I'm talking about that another tip is that for remove like makeup stains it is baby wipes so because I have a child I always have baby wipes with me and, uh, for makeup they work really well so that's a little tip in general for white shirts Item number two, it is trousers. I went on the Cezanne website because I was looking for specific items and it was trousers and belts. So let's start from trousers. So I've ordered two pairs. One is the one that I'm wearing. You will see better in the cutaway, obviously. And the other pair, it is these ones. They are black, very simple black color they come in more colors they come in 11 colors so if you want to take a look if you're looking for very good fitting trousers but they're not like the classic black they also have like pastel colors I, this is a good pair to look at especially for spring they are 115 euros and in general uh, I find it very hard to find very good fitting trousers uh, Cezanne I always find that is a very good destination for trousers. As you can 
can see in the cutaway, they are very high waisted and ankle length, so they look good with sneakers. They also look really good with heels, so it's a pair of trousers that I can dress up. And they also look really good tucked in into boots because they're not like very wide. So it is, I think, a very versatile pair of trousers that I can easily take into spring summer. I can even imagine like um, a summer evenings uh, with like a tank top and these trousers, I think it would look really good. I love the belt detail and the belt is detachable. So you can, and it's something that I do quite often with my trousers, with the, this type of trousers, it is to sometimes remove the belt that they come in and then just add a regular belt. So sometimes, for example, I want to wear a brown belt and for contrast and I just remove the fabric belt and I add a leather belt. And, uh, what I also like is that it's always hard to show you when something is black. You know there is a sort of like a tulip waist, two buttons, pleats on the sides, the pockets and uh, are 115 euros size 40 which is slightly big for me but then I can adjust it easily with the belt so it is a perfect fitting. Next up is a jumper that I ordered in two colors, in cream and navy blue. I don't have a navy blue jumper, I don't know why, but I have a specific uh, styling in mind for this one, so it is dark navy blue and I want to style it with like jeans, a shirt underneath or like a t-shirt like this one and a check blazer. Stay tuned on my Instagram because if I have it and I'm gonna shoot it, I'm gonna have pictures in there so you can take a look. Um, love the uh, buttons at the front, so it is six buttons. I think the fit, it is very, very flattering. You can either button it up in full and wear it like a sort of turtleneck, even with a little silk scarf underneath, I think it's very chic. Or you can uh, leave it a little bit open, like halfway, let's say, with a white shirt underneath, like a denim shirt as well. Or you can even like leave it all open, and I really like it with a white t-shirt as well underneath. So very versatile, you can style it in many different ways. This is the cream one. It is 105 euros, it is 55% merino wool, 20% cotton and 25% polyamide. Um, I am wearing, it's, okay so this is size extra large and the white it is a size large. I think is because I wanted to have both in extra large, but I think the extra large in the cream, it was sold out, so I went for a large. You can see in the cutaway, I don't think there is a massive difference. Even if they are large sizes, they're not very long, so I think it's a very, very good fitting. Next up, it is my favorite item, is the trousers that I'm wearing. Basically, I fell in love with the fit. They are exactly what I was looking for. As I always say, I am tall, so it is very difficult for me to find a pair of trousers that cover my shoe and it doesn't look too short. And what I also like, they are already perfect, but eventually there is, I checked immediately, uh, there is enough fabric inside if you want to even make them longer. So. Um, if I wear them with sneakers, the length is perfect, but eventually if I, I'm going to wear more heels, I don't know, like if I want, I can make them longer and I love the extra fabric. I went for my regular size, size 38, they fit like a glove, they come in different color, high waisted, nice length of the leg, they have a detail here with this button. I think it's just a detail, you don't do much with it, but then of course you can fit the belt in as well, which is exactly what I was looking for, a pair of trousers that I can wear with the belt and then either a knit or a t-shirt tucked in. 
the price it is 125 euros and they have they have no pocket i don't mind uh, because it's just a very nice fit and to be honest i don't have much more to say about these trousers just look at the fit in the cutaway and it is definitely like my favorite piece of this haul i'm like super excited about these trousers <laughs> i was on the hunt for a belt i had a specific style in mind that i wanted and i know that a vintage belt would have been perfect and normally i really enjoy shopping vintage but I prefer to shop vintage in the shop, not online, because the sizes are always different and I'm not like an expert, I do have a knowledge because I've been shopping vintage for a long time, but I'm not a super expert, so, um, but the sizing is different than what it is now, so I think that it is a little bit difficult to buy vintage online, I prefer to go to vintage stores, but we were currently in a lockdown, so all the shops are closed. <laughs> so, I, and then I remember that I always saw on the Cezanne website their belt that they look very vintage style. So I went to take a look and I found two very nice belts, especially this one is what I was looking for. I was looking for like a real leather belt, very plain with a gold buckle and I wanted the buckle to be like a sort of like oval um, not not a rectangular and not a round so like I wanted like an oval buckle and then I really like this little detail here with like more gold and I do wear designer belts with the logo as well uh, so I thought it's nice to um, you know have also like plain belts. I don't want to wear like a logo belt all the time. It is a smooth leather. If you can see it. Um, in terms of sizing, I went for a size 85, which is perfect because it's very plain. You can easily like add extra holes if you have to and the price is 60 euros so I thought for a leather belt it was like a very good price as well. Leather belt is similar but different, uh, it is a little bit more detailed if you want so this is something that is quite plain so I've, I had in mind to wear let's say if I wear for example uh, a pair of shoes or a bag that already have like logos in it I don't like to mix logos from different brands or like to have too much logos on me I don't like it so if I wear like a bag that shows the logo or shoes then I can have a plain belt and while this one it is a little bit more playful so you have this like vintage uh, heritage like um, bucket um, it is pretty much the same type of belt like smooth leather with this uh, stitching on top and on bottom. It is a little bit wider than this one. I can show you together so you can see uh, how they look next to each other. It is a little bit wider, not like a very thick belt that you can only wear it on top. It still goes through the jeans thing. So, and then, um, the other difference is that you close it like this. So you don't need holes. You can adjust your size however you like it or you need. So you can wear it like low waisted, high waisted on top of a coat. Like you can really play with it. And I think I will wear this one even more in the spring summer when I have, for example, like a pair of jeans and a white tank top because it's too hot. <laughs> and then you just add a nice detail without, you know, having to think too much. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, it is 85 euros, still very good price for a leather belt and um, this is a size 90 and I think it's because, it's a bit bigger size because the 85 was sold out in this style but because you, it's just like adjustable, it doesn't really matter, so it fits really well as well.
Top is a cardigan, and to be honest with you, I don't think I needed a cardigan. I need another cardigan in my life, but I fell in love with it. Um, it gives me very much like Ralph Lauren vibes, and like is a vibe that I love, like very classic. And uh, so I just ordered it. And in my defense, I don't have anything exactly like this. Of the day, like Motel de Crew. Um, color and style, I'll show you closer, this is how it looks like and then you have like all these like little colored threads, I really like it. Um, and then I think it is very well made, you have like it's braided on the body and then plain ribbed in the um, neckline and um, sleeves as well. And then I love the brown buttons and then what I also really like is that it's not too long, it's like shorter than the one I'm wearing and then you can either wear it as a cardigan, like so you open the buttons and like or you, if you button it up it looks like just a very normal sweater so it is different from like the regular v-neck cardigan. Um, the fabric composition it is 65% merino wool 5% alpaca and 30% polyamide and uh, I went for a size large and the price it is 135 euros. We have, I just briefly show you before, this cream sweater which is exactly the same as the blue one. Uh, so I'm not gonna go too much into details because I told you already before but I am gonna show you uh, from clothes. I really like the buttons. You see they like slightly like brownish all around. Uh, it's a sort of like mother of pearl look-alike, but it's not, it's plastic, it's not mother of pearl. Um, but I really like it. Again, it gives me like very much of a vintage vibe um, look of the both sweaters, so I really like this. That's why I ordered two. <laughs> and the last one I want to show you, it is this knit, this jumper which is a little bit, I call it a bit more like of a fancy jumper, it's something that when you want to wear something like, you know, a little bit more dressy, but it is still winter, it's still cold, you wear something like this. So both neck and v-neck at the back. So it is like an open back, but as you can see in the cutaway, I'm still wearing the bra, so it is, um, you can wear it during the day as well because it's not a super revealing v-neck at the back it's just like a really nice detail i love this this is what it sold me the jumper this detail here it really gives me like isabel moran vibes i loved it i love the cream color it is very warm i love the you know there is like braids oh it's come closer to show you so this is how it looks like and this is the back. It only comes in white, then 15 euros. And the fabric composition, it is 56% wool and 44% alpaca. So the only downside of this is that it leaves quite a lot of hair. So the roller is your best friend in this case and mine. And I always find that when, if you want a trick to wear alpaca, wear it with, le with leather, because on leather it doesn't leave the hair. So I always wear it either with leather, like leather trousers or a leather skirt, and or with like light wash color blue jeans, like j light jeans, and it's fine. Okay guys, so this is it for today. Um, I hope you liked the new pieces. It's not so many, but it was my favorite pieces and from the Cezanne website at the moment and stuff that I was looking for. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and give me a thumb up if you like the video and let me know in the comments what was your favorite piece. I think it's quite obvious that my favorite piece was the new trousers <laughs> and uh, yeah I really like the knits and the belt as well like very hard to choose. It's impossible to choose only one piece. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You can see all these pieces styled on my Instagram. It is at 
Nicole Ballardini, I post my daily outfits every day. I'll see you next week in the next one. Bye!